Hi and welcome to our May release webinar. My name is Till Fryer and I'm going to show you what new features we have added uh, to Corona in our last release. The release was deployed last Saturday, so all new backend features are available right away. If you have questions um, or feedback during the webinar, please use the comment section next to the video. Okay, let's start with inventory accounts. Who has a lot of inventory and performs counts frequently probably knows this issue. You have multiple people counting on multiple count sheets, and they happen to count the same items by accident. This is used to be, or this used to be a problem. Um, once you book these inventory accounts, because one inventory account would override the other one. Well, not anymore. Now you have the option to merge inventory counts and consolidate multiple counts before booking them. A similar improvement has been made to the scanning mode. You can now continuously scan items into the scanning mode and it will merge the items and increase the count. Now let's have a look at some data integrity tools we added in this release. The first tool you can find in the point of sale list. Here you can now select the point of sale and then select revisions under more. This will compare storage status of the point of sale with the cloud and you'll be able to see right away if the point of sale is up to date um, with its data. The second tool is a dashboard widget. It's called defective Z counts. This widget will monitor and generate end-of-day statements and compare the summary with the receipt data uploaded. Any data inconsistency will be noticed. In addition, you can get a list of all terminals and see when they last submitted an end-of-day statement. This will help you find terminals that have gone offline. Okay, now let me show you some data entry improvements we made. When creating new products, you have now the option to select Save and New. This will save um, the product you are currently editing and take you straight to the next product. This will save clicks and make data entry faster. Another data entry improvement um, was made regarding the pop-up that appeared to let you assign the product to a button. Several users found this pop-up more annoying than helpful. We took care of it and removed it. Thank you for your feedback. All right, now let's have a look at some new features in the invoicing package. When you create an invoice and um, you have now the option to select a warehouse for each invoice. This helps you to control where the inventory will be taken from. Another new feature for the invoicing module is in the POS profiles. Here you can now set a number of invoicing receipt copies. This means the POS will print additional copies for any invoicing receipt. Okay, those were the most interesting new improvements for Corona. Thank you all for joining the webinar and I'm hoping you will join again next month.